Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, rates, ratio, proportion, and percentages. And for this lesson, we're going to look at percentage increase. I want to see what percentage increase is all about. And uh, we have a few questions to help us with illustrations on how to solve problems involving percentage increase. At the end of the lesson, we'll give you some assignment to help you practice with what's supposed to be covered during this lesson and to get your understanding of the same concept as discussed during this lesson. So percentage increase formula is the ratio of value increased to the original value multiplied by 100. Basically, in simple terms, that simply means that you take the change in the value over the original, you multiply by 100. That is how you get percentage increase, you see. So let's see how that is applicable in answering questions so take note of the formula that it has to be change in the value uh, over the original value and then you multiply that fraction by 100 so let's see so a man's earning is uh, 4800 per month this earning was given at 25 percent pay rise what was his new value so we can say maybe we find the the change you know we'll use the formula we find the change in the earning and then new value will be the original plus the change you see so that is case one where i use the formula so i know percentage change is going to be the change over the original times 100. So now I have the percentage given as 25 should be equal to the change. So let me call that change x. The original is 4800, you multiply by 100. You see, so this is going to be 25 is equals to 100x over 48, 0, 0. So again, this 0 will cancel this, this will cancel that, and then you have x over 48. So you have 25, which you can also write as 25 over 1, should be equal to 1 over, not 1, but x. This is x over 48. So you cross multiply here. So you have x is equals to 25 by 48. So what do you get when you do that? This is supposed to be 25 by 48. So 8 by 5 is 40, 0 carry 4. 8 by 2 is 16 plus 4 is 20. So I need to multiply by 40. So I'll add 0 first, then I multiply by 4. So 20. 4 by 5 is 20, 0 carry 2. 4 by 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Fill up the spaces left using zeros. So 0. So this is 1, 2, 0, 0. It means x is equals to, that is the change, is 1,200. So new salary. So new salary should be equal to 1200 you add to 48 zero, zero, and that should be shillings 6000 okay so that is uh, how you go about it now usually when there is a change in a value even the percentage percentage changes so you can find the new percentage new percentage so how do you find the new percentage so this is what you will do so so that will be our case two so case two so new percentage 
should be equal to 100. So we have new percentage. We should be equal to 100%. You add 25%. Sorry. So we have 100%. You add 25% and that is going to be 125%. See, this is the new percentage. So how do you get this percentage? This percentage is equals to new value over the original, the original value times 100. So that new percentage is already given which is 125. This should be equal to the new value that we are looking for. Let me call it x now. Over the original value, which is 4800, 0, 0, and then you multiply by 100. So let me continue with that working here. So I have 125. I can write it over 1. Should be equal to, so this 100 times x. This x here stands for the new value. Over the original value times 100 will give you the new percentage. So that is uh, 100x, see, over 4800. So again, 0 cancels, 0, 0 cancels, 0. So you have 125 over 1 should be equal to x. 1 by x is x over 48. So again, if you multiply this, you get x. This other side, you have 125 times 48. So that is what you're going to do. So 125 multiplied by 48. So we have uh, 8 multiplied by 5 is 40. So 0 carry 4. 8 multiplied by 2 is 16 plus 4 is 20. So 0 carry 2. 8 multiplied by 1 is 8 plus 2 is 10. Again, I'm multiplying by 40. So I'll write 0 first. Then I multiply by 4. So 4 by 5 is 20. 0 carry 2. 4 by 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10. So 0 carry 1. And 4 by 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So this is 0, 0, 0, 6. So it then means x is equals to 6,000. So it means new, new earning or new value should be equals to shillings. 60,000, I mean 6,000. So take note of what I did. I have the new percentage first, which is 100. Before any increase, the total or decrease, the total percentage is 100%. That is the complete value. Then there was a pay rise of 25%. So if you add 25%, it will give you the new percentage. If you want to get new percentages, new value over the original times 100. You see. So that is how you're able to get with it. I mean, continue with it until we arrived at this value that we are having over here. So let's see again. So the production of sugar in a farm increases from 400 to uh, 700 tons after a year. Find the percentage increase. So you can find the new percentage and then you subtract from 100. So let's do that. So approaches are many. So let's see. So let's find new percentage. So new new percentage, we don't know what it is. So you can even call it X. But I know new percentage will be given by new value over the original value times 100. So times 100. So new percentage will help us find the percentage increase. So new value is 700. Original value is 400. This is multiplied by 100. So this cancels that. And so you have 700 divided by 4. So 700 over 4. So maybe 2 goes into... 700, 
3, 5 over 2. Again, 2 goes into 350, 1, uh, remainder 1, 15, 7, because of 16, I mean, because of 14, remainder 1, 5, and 2 goes into 2 ones. So this is the new percentage. So getting the new percentage here will be, I mean, finding the percentage increase. So we have percentage increase should be equal to new percentage, which is 175 minus 100, and that is giving us 75%. So that is case one, how you can do it. Alternatively, you can use the formula. So this is the formula, percentage change, which is the percentage increase in this case should be equal to increase so increase over the original value original value times 100 so what is the increase the increase is 700 minus 400 over the original which is 400 times 100 so that is going to be 300 over 400 times 100. So we have 3 over 4 times 100. So 4 here, 1 for there, 25 and 25 by 3 is 75%. So either way, you'll still get the, the answer. We have another one here. The height of tree increased from 10 meters to 15 meters per year. Find the percentage increase. So let me use the percentage change in height, which is change in height over the original height times 100. So what is the change in height? 5. Original height, it started from 10 times 100. And this is going to be 50, 50%. The price of Ken Stoica increased from uh, 150 to 200. Find the percentage increase in the price using percentage increase formula. So percentage change in price should be equal to the change in price over the original price times 100. So what is the change in price? That is 200 minus 150 over 150 times 100. So that is going to be 50 over 150 times 100. So that is going to be 1 over 3 times 100. And what we get is 33.33%. So we have a few questions to help you practice on what we have learned during this lesson. You can always attempt when you are done you post the response in the comment section we look at them we'll be able to give feedback in the due course otherwise that marks the end of the lesson until next time goodbye